Hey, so is there a free-to-play game that you wanted to download on Steam, but it's no longer available on the Steam store? Well, I'm going to show you how you can still add that product to your account and download it very easily. So for example, last year Sega released a bunch of these little kind of mini game tech demo things that were only available for three days and uh, I didn't get the memo, right? I Too late, right? No, uh, apparently not. I can still get these games. I'm going to show you, for example, um, I want to get 8-bit Bayonetta, okay? We're going to look up, okay, Bayonetta, uh, right? It's not here. There's just Bayonetta. We're going to go over to my library. Let's look up Bayonetta. Uh, no, I don't have 8-bit Bayonetta, just a regular game. Just to show you guys. All right, so what can we do? We can go up to Help and then Steam Support. Now what we're going to do, we're going to click on Games, Software, etc. And then down here we're going to search for the game we want. So I'm going to once again search for Bayonetta. And look, there it is, 8-bit Bayonetta. It's not in my library, it's not on the Steam store, but you can still find the game this way. And you can find any delisted game this way. So I'm going to click on 8-bit Bayonetta. And what problem are you having? It's not in my library. Okay, we click on that and Steam says, hey, this is a free game. All right, we just added it to your library, no problem. So uh, from here, you can either view it in your library or install it directly. Let's go ahead and view it in my library. It's not there. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't there. So I just went ahead and clicked install. Okay, next. Yeah, we're going to install this thing. Finish. Now it's in my library. And it should stay there regardless of whether or not I uninstall the game or not. It's ready to play. It's good to go. You can see all the Steam community stuff and the discussions, all that. It's here. Yeah, if we go ahead and uninstall... It's still in my library, so so cool. Yeah, you own the game forever. Now, I, don't, I can't promise this method will always work, but I've done this for several games, and it has always worked for me. So very cool, very easy. Um, like I say, there's all those Sega games that were released for a few days and then taken down. You can download them now. Some other cool games. I know there's one called... Dungeon Land. Dungeon Land is a free to play game. It's uh, like a hack and slash game. It even has local co op. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can give this one a go. It was delisted a while back, but you can still download it using this method and, and give it a try. It's a, it's a fun game. The other ones I know of, uh, the, the other Sega games, there's Golden Axe, the canceled prototype. There's Streets of Kamurocho, that Yakuza Streets of Rage mashup thing. I think it's like one level. Same with Golden Axe. Um, just kind of a teaser of what could have been. I, I wish they would just go ahead and make these full games. That'd be super cool. There's also one called Armor of Heroes. Let's go ahead and, and try that one. I don't know anything about this, but... So there it goes. We're downloading Armor of Heroes. There's also one called Endless Zone. What else? Yeah, I have a few other games in my library, but they were like online multiplayer games and I don't know if you can still play them. So I won't really waste your time with that stuff. But yeah, I want to hear from you. What games do you know of that were free to play and are no longer on the store? What should we be downloading? Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. And I uh, will see you next time.